Hello everyone, this is Christoph from CW Brabender. I'm here with Ryan and Joe. We are going to make you a small demonstration about our capabilities regarding single screw filament extrusion line in conjunction with like a pre-compounded compounding line. So this is our brand new virtual laboratory setup. I will walk you through this and after the intro you will see our discussion camera to start with where I can give you a bit of an overview of how the laboratory setup is going. Before we do that, let's look at the equipment. Here you see our standalone 20 millimeter clamshell parallel twin screw extruder. We have this available in 1200 RPM or 600 RPM. Um, it also comes either as an attachment or a standalone version. Uh, we have 80 newton meters of torque available with 40 newton meters per shaft. We can run continuously up to a temperature of 400 degrees centigrade. With multiple uh, top and uh, side uh, feeding ports, you are flexible in the choice of like feeding position, venting and liquid dosing. Uh, in total, we have four top ports and two side ports. So if you need a high load of uh, filler in powder form with side stuffers, you can do two in a row. Uh, here in the setup, we use a loss in weight single screw uh, uh, feeder from our sister company, Brebener Technologies. It's also integrated into our entire software suite where you have like the complete report and controllabilities on your fingertips. Uh, we are currently running at a throughput of about three kilos per hour. Uh, the setup that we picked is a general purpose um, a multiple intense mixing section screws. So uh, also we have then a shortened die adapter or a die plate with various nozzles that can be interchangeable based on the filament requirements from diameter wise. Uh, after that, we go into the water trough and uh, then from the water trough uh, where you can set the temperature and adjust it, we go to our pelletizer and this would be a typical compounding setup. And uh, in the, uh, as you can see from here on, the pelletizer is then uh, uh, chopping the fibers or the filament into uh, like smaller pellets and it would fall into the uh, now constructed hopper system. This is a unique setup that we picked for very uh, sensitive material to ambient uh, oxygen exposure. So our material falls directly into a glass cylinder that is then automatically conveyed into like a drying reservoir, which you see exactly behind the pelletizer. We cooperate with our good friends from a German company named Helios uh, Drying Systems. And uh, they have glass cylinders, uh, stainless steel cylinders up to like a quantity of like 200 liters. And uh, they uh, do everything with hot air. And uh, obviously they convey the material then in our setup into like one of the reservoirs in between. They will dry the material as it continuously then is going to be transported into our single screw line where we then can, uh, with the help of a melt pump, create the exact diameter or dimensional shape and form of the filament that we are going to wind. Again, this is a unique setup for a special request where your material should not be exposed too long to any environment so uh, or like atmosphere. Um, so here with the second setup, you see our single screw extruder um, that we currently have attached to our dedicated torque rheometer. This is in our case our uh, largest drive with a full-fledged torque measurement capabilities. Uh, so we have our torque cell measuring the resistance that the screw is experiencing through the material. And we have uh, a 25 L over D, uh, 20, uh, a 19 millimeter or like three quarter inch single screw extruder. In the non-vented configuration, we attached uh, or like we put in a three to one uh, 
metering uh, or three zone uh, three section screw we attach it to like a gear pump like i forementioned in order to have the right uh, the right output and no screw pulsation and after that we go into our uh, rod die and uh, in t on the conveyor belt in this case with some active air knives from here we go into like our sizing or not sizing into our measuring gauge uh, and into the winder um, the this is a two axis laser from our partner company Zumboch in switzerland they have all the way up to a very sophisticated three axis measuring systems for ovality roundness and of course diameter um, another thing that is um, thing that is uh, important for our uh, uh, winder to know it comes with different uh, takeoff systems so you can see here this is our belt puller for different uh, or softer materials we also have our uh, pinch rolls or pin rolls and we also have then a traversy that is going to lay the material strand on our collector roll uh, and makes a nice laying pattern everything is integrated and yeah so now you see like the four screen overview as you have uh, probably guessed we can uh, switch through all the different views from like what the program currently is showing from the process parameters we currently are connected to the uh, parallel twin screw so but you can also incorporate of course the second running line with a single screw extruder so you see here the torque the speed uh, the pressure and the temperature in a time chart with the equipment and in the four view overview you see like then the downstream equipment what happens at the die what happens at the palletizer and the drying station and uh, yeah this is one of the powerful features for our virtual laboratory experience everything that we showcase you will have the entire video feed based on how we currently or what we currently want to highlight you can see in a close-up shot or when you just want to like monitor how it's going you take the four uh, four window four camera overview setup so um, uh, as well uh, as another added feature for our uh, uh, for our virtual laboratory um, we can then make special dedicated slices for the uh, whenever you have like a sample run with a set uh, parameter uh, window where you would uh, see exactly how your material got created and what exact parameters led to that result so now after uh, the demonstration is over uh, or when the virtual lab uh, trial comes to an end we can go back to the discussion camera and the discussion camera then uh, highlight or finalize uh, your unique requirements. Um, again, there are multiple different versions available for like setup. This was just uh, something to highlight our capabilities uh, for a compounding line. So I hope you enjoyed watching this demonstration and uh, thank you so much for your attention and hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.